My friends, what I have here is the Corinthia Defense One. That is defense with a C, not an S. This is a sleeping bag that is made by a European military contractor. They make excellent gear. Within the tactical realm, everybody knows this company. Within the civilian world, especially here in the United States, this company is lesser known. But as I mentioned before, this company makes really good products. They are so good, in fact, that American companies often relabel these. Of course, they have to license it and whatnot, but they relabel these, such as Everly stock. In the past, I've taken a look and reviewed the Reveille bag, which is the Defense 4. This is the Defense 1. This is the summertime bag. So these products are so good that even Everly stock relabels them and sells them. The Defense 4 is a fantastic sleeping bag, and so is the Defense 1. In this episode, this is my agenda free review, and we might as well get started. If you happen to hear a crackling fire, maybe see some smoke, that's because I have a fire over here. It is roughly 83 degrees right now here at Lone Wolf Mountain in Western North Carolina. And I have that fire going because we have something that's known as sweat bees here. They are these tiny little bee looking things and they are a torment. I mean, I really hate these things. They crawl all over you and they can sting you. Like it hurts for just a second. They're super annoying and smoke is the only thing that keeps them away. That's it. Permethrin doesn't work. 100% DEET does not work. Smoke works. That's why I have the fire going. So with this sleeping bag, as you can see, it's in its compressed form here. In the stuffed sack, you're looking at 10 inches by seven inches. This is a five-way compression storage bag. You have three horizontal, two vertical straps which means that you can compress this to a really small size. Now everyone, there are two sizes of this bag. There's a medium and a large. This is the medium. The medium size is for individuals up to 6'1". It has a length of seven feet and it is 33.5 inches wide and it has a weight of 2.3 pounds. The large size is for individuals up to 6'7". It is seven feet, six and a half inches long and it is 34.5 inches wide. The weight on the large bag is 2.6 pounds. Both you will find in the same color, that's olive. And the temperature range for this bag is 39 degrees. That's the comfort range. You can push this bag to 14 degrees and that's the extreme rating. You will be cold, you will shiver, you will not die. With the measurements that I've given for the medium size and the large, I'm sure you're thinking that the measurements seem a little bit large for the recommended heights that I gave. Now that's because each bag is designed to have additional space at the bottom of the bag for either your boots or your shoes, a clothing bag, and so on. Items that you wanna keep with you inside of the bag that you wanna keep warm, you can put down in the bottom. That's why you have a bag that's seven foot long that's recommended for individuals six one. And that's with the medium sized bag. When it comes to the features of this bag, let's just go ahead and touch upon those real quick. This bag features a center zip and you have a wind block which goes over the top. It has pieces of Velcro to hold it into place. And what you have here are two EZ zippers, which are comparable to YKK with very good zipper pulls. These are two ways. So you can unzip from the bottom so you can like uh, get some ventilation around your feet, your legs, or you can unzip from the top. Up at the top, you have two draw pulls, one on each side of your head so you can pull it nice and tight around your face. On the inside behind the zipper, you do have a draft collar. And with this bag, you have horizontal baffles on the top and also on the bottom. Now everyone, let's go over the materials and the insulation. The outer shell is a polyamide, which is both wind and water resistant. This bag features a 1000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating and yet it's breathable. This outer shell is a ripstop and so is the inner shell, which is also a polyamide material, which features moisture wicking capabilities. The insulation is Carthenia's own G-Loft. This is a hollow fiber. It's made in Austria. It is highly compressible and features an excellent weight insulation ratio, which means that it will work very well in very moist conditions. The G-Loft insulation is an excellent product. This is a well-known insulation that works very well. It's in sleeping bags and also in jackets. Now with this sleeping bag, it does feature an, an additional capability that keeps you warm. On the inside of this bag with the insulation is a product known as Thermoflect. This is a very thin, lightweight aluminum material that reflects your body heat. It raises the sleeping bag's heat retaining capability by roughly 11%. That is a very unique feature that I've not seen anywhere else. With 
this sleeping bag, it was designed for military purposes, but it can easily be used by civilians like you and I. This features a mummy shape, and the cost of this bag is very impressive. The lowest price that I have found for this sleeping bag, brand new, is $117, and that comes from taxsale.eu. You will find a link down below. They ship all across the world, and they're a great site. Before I go over my experiences and the pros and cons with this bag, let's talk about Carthenia as a whole. This is a European military contractor, which has equipped many military forces, including Scandinavia and others. When it comes to my experiences with this sleeping bag, I have used this for many months now, and luckily, I was able to use this down to the comfort range of 39 degrees, and I was, in fact, very comfortable. I was very warm in this bag at 39 degrees, and you can easily push this even lower. I say that based upon myself, right? Everybody's different, every body type is different. There's some of that smoke right there. For myself, I run hot, and I could have easily have used this bag in colder conditions. In the future, when it does get cold, right, below 39 degrees, I will test this bag out, and I may have a follow-up episode in regards to it. But I can tell you that the 39 degrees Fahrenheit, that is a real rating. With that, let's move over to the review, starting with the pros. First off, the quality of this bag is excellent. This is a very, very well-made bag. The stitching is perfect. There's no loose threads. There's no issues. There's no insulation coming through the material. That includes the shell and also the inside. The zippers are excellent. Very smooth. I've had no issues, and they do not get caught. The bag itself is very strong, very durable. This is military grade. My next pro is the weight. The weight of this bag is not bad, especially for being a military surplus product. For being a military bag, this is lightweight. In addition to those pros, I have two biggies. First off, price. $117 for this bag is an excellent deal. I mean, it really is. This bag can be used by a man, can be used by a woman, and it can also be used, get this, with other defense sleeping bags. So if you have a Defense 3, a Defense 4, a Reveille bag from Everly Stock, you can combine the sleeping bags, making a combo. So you could take, you know, one existing temp rating and you could push that bag much further by doing the combination. In the wintertime, I am going to test this out because right now it's just simply too warm. I will take the Defense 4, combine it with the Defense 1, and we will see just how low it can go. But that is an awesome feature. This is a very well thought out sleeping bag. That's simple, lightweight, excellent quality, very warm. It compresses quite a bit. The price is excellent. And all of those pros take us over to the cons. When it comes to the cons, do I have any? No, I do not have any cons for this bag for this price. You could say that it's a little bit heavy. You could say that it's a little bit overly built for civilian use. That would be true. This is a military product. Think of that in terms of longevity. This is a bag that is going to last a very, very long time. That G-Loft material, the aluminum that's on the inside, all of these factors go together with everything else. And what you have is a sleeping bag that's super tough. It stay compressed for a long period of time and you don't have to worry about it getting wet. That's pretty impressive. It really is. That is a benefit to a synthetic fill sleeping bag. You don't have to worry about moisture like you do with a down bag. Now, of course, down is lighter. This is heavier. But again, this is not bad for being a 39 degree sleeping bag. This is one of those rare instances where you don't have to pay a ton of money for a really good product. 120 bucks, something like that, gets you this bag, and it is an excellent performer. I mean, it really is. For a synthetic fill sleeping bag that's good to 39 degrees, this, in my opinion, is a no-brainer. The quality is top-notch, the temperature range is true. It is a versatile bag that can be combined with other sleeping bags to create a very warm sleep system. And everyone, I can easily recommend it. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about it, and also the company itself, Corinthia. If you have any experience with this sleeping bag, make sure to share it or with the others. It doesn't matter. Just share your experiences with the community because it helps everyone out. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe if you want to. You can join the Wolfpack by supporting the channel on Patreon and here on YouTube if you want. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. I will see you all very soon. Bye, folks.